No, but, I, but we said hi and stuff like that, and then I caught him later, and we said hello, and um, we were outside. He was outside. No one else was around. This was at Comic-Con, so there were about 120,000 people there. Well, this was a moment where it was, he was just sitting there, you know, enjoying a, a delightful cigarette. And I was talking with him, and then I went back, and I kind of stood in the corner before I went back inside. I was just kind of watching him do his thing, because in my mind, I'm never going to get that opportunity again. To, to meet Mark Hamill, I would love to work with him, but you know you have to look at those opportunities as like, you know what, it's gonna be one one time thing, that's it. So I'm watching him and then the door opens. Someone comes through it, I'm like, who could that be? And it's Chewbacca. <laughs> Peter Mayhew comes out with his lightsaber cane, his pimp cane. He goes over and he strolls over to Mark Hamill and they have a moment, and they begin talking and I just let them do their thing and I just leave. <laughs> just, just like this, and then Mark Hamill's like, <laughs> yeah, so it was uh, it was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. Uh, first time con, yes, you. Yeah. Uh, okay. What is your favorite death the kid line? My favorite death the kid line would be one of the lines that I remember. <laughs> differently than, say, someone in the audience would come out and watch the show. Uh, whereas you guys come in and you're watching the story and you're, you're following along what's going on. When we record it, we're just recording our parts. So we're coming at it from the perspective of getting the lines right, getting the lines in the flaps, making sure we're loud enough, we're, our voice is clean enough, are we staying in, in character, etc. So it's a little bit of a different perspective. Um, at the end, when we watch it at cons with you guys, that's when we see it for, for really the first time. And so that's a lot of fun. As far as playing that role, uh, I mean, it was a blast. I was early on at Funimation. I was very happy to get it. And, and who, how many people can say, you know what? What'd you do today? Oh, you got some groceries? I turned into a giant eye. <laughs> so there's that. But uh, thank you, yeah. Uh, okay, green. How to walk on still. So, for those of you that don't know, Mr. Knickerbocker from Barney, I was Mr. Knickerbocker. And uh, it was, you know, everybody knows the song, right? Hey, Mr. Knickerbocker, Bob Bitty Bob. I like the way Bob Bitty Bob. Um, and so, walking on stills was a lot of fun. I learned. Um, years ago, had to do it, and the problem with this day, when we were on set, it took place outside of the circus setting. The problem with this day was that it was very windy, and it was on a hill. Oh. Oh. Um, so actually, this is this is I'm just spirit Todd because real Todd died on set. <laughs> um, no, it was a lot of fun. It was there were elephants there, and, and uh, I got to look at the elephants, destroy the set. And, uh, there were a lot of a lot of kids there, that, and I get to see what Baby Bop looks like when the helmet comes off. And Baby Bop and all of Barney's friends are actually mid forties dwarves. <laughs> they're guys. That so like they're like Baby Bop, Baby Bop. Ah, that was a good take. <laughs> <laughs> You're Mr. Nickerbock. <laughs> I'm Baby Bop. <laughs> but uh, it was just fun. How about the Dragon Balls or the Easter eggs back there? Yes. Lemons. Lemons. I will save a hug just for you. It's hard to get to you right now. Um, let's see. Uh, yes, sir. Ah! Thursday? Do you remember a girl accidentally bumping into you and 
A girl bumping into me and headbutting me. I don't remember getting into a kung fu fight. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, that's my girlfriend, and she says that she's deeply sorry. <laughs> well, she's not that sorry. She's not here. <laughs> no, that's okay. Totally okay. You know what? Uh, I get headbutted all the time. Molly Hall, too. Vic hits harder anyway. So. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm well, he does. He punches. It's her. It hurts. Oh. Um, let's see. In the uh, little girl right there. Yeah. Oh, hi, Sarah. Thank you for asking. Well, my favorite line from Sergeant Frog? Hmm, well, I can't say my favorite line because it's from episode nine and it's, there's just a, a naughty word in it. <laughs> but I will say my favorite episode is the one where I uh, clone myself. <laughs> and I'm talking to 30 different versions of myself because I had to do all 30 different versions. <laughs> I like that too. That was a lot of fun to do. That show was a lot of improv in there. Very back, my Hitalia friend. How many times are you asked to say pasta? Um, how many stars are in the sky? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> using the bear as a weapon. Travis Willingham is Conda and Dean Grayman. It's very tricky with that because he was not the first choice, actually. And I went through three or four different actors before him recording in the show. It just wasn't, just wasn't hitting right. It just wasn't. And, but then we were getting close to our deadline, and we had to get the show out to, uh, to, you know, to get made as far as the DVDs printed and stuff like that. And so I, I needed someone that could come in, and I knew that was going to knock it out. And so that's why we contacted Travis, and he came in and just, boom, busted it out, knocked Conda out, and it stuck. Yeah. But I'll have to ask him about his insults on short people. <laughs> uh, yes. Hi, Sarah. Hi. 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 How old will you be? Fifteen years old. One more year and you'll be completely symmetrical. <laughs> Happy early birthday. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, yes, sir. When 
When I'm doing an episode of Sergeant Frog, has there ever been an episode where I am like WTF? <laughs> well, in that world, anything goes. <laughs> in an anime in general, the nosebleeds and the tic-tac-toe sign on your head and the, the running away from beautiful women that want you and you know, I don't, it, it was weird stuff happened. Um, but with Sergeant Frog, I think whenever I would, whenever Kiara would cosplay or disguise himself as a woman, that is when I was like, okay, we're going there. Oh yeah. Yeah, so at those points. Let's see, Link. <laughs> How many times have I spoken in the Italy ex accent when I go to an Italian restaurant? Um, I will need to do that. Yeah! I shall make plans for that this week. Yeah! Woo! Because, well, it, it'll be, see, here's what happens every time I go to, well, no, that's for another time. But yeah, I'll, I'll, do, I'll try it out this week. Uh, the person holding up a sign, a piece of paper that looks like it's you've got stuff for sale. And... Well, the first thing is, today's the best birthday I've ever had. I'm turning 16 today. Right on! Woo! Right on. Yeah! 16. In your opinion, who's your favorite chick in Suzuka? Oh, uh, Miki. Yeah! The red-headed Miki. I mean, she was... I, I don't know if that was a regulation track uniform, but <laughs> it's fine by me. I'm totally cool with that. Uh, with the helmet. Awesome. How does the movie end? Uh, we'll have to watch and find out, because I don't know. <laughs> I've not seen the whole thing. I, I'm very curious now. Fire it up! What? What? <laughs> what? It is, yeah. It's yes! It's, it's mentioned. It's mentioned, but it's not. There's no or whatever. Oh, I thought you said it's not on DVD yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's been out for a long time, yeah. Yeah, it, but it's, it's a jam of a movie. I'll, I'll, I want to find out too. We'll find, you watch, and then I'll watch, and we'll compare notes. <laughs> Mokina. Well, that's like saying, hey, I found a million bucks. <laughs> I didn't know if it was going to be inconvenient for you to consider wanting it or not. <laughs> if you want to stop by and pick it up, fine. If you don't, I understand. Oh my gosh. As far as whether or not they're licensing Sailor Moon, I, I cannot say anything on that. But if I were asked to be a part of it, of course, I would love to do it. And, uh, and I hope that whoever gets it, uh, they will think of me. Think of me. Think of me fondly. Goodbye. Think of me once in a while. The puffin. Here's what I remember from it. Um, <laughs> He's just a German guy. <laughs> pushing around Italy. <laughs> he yells at me and says lots of mean, mean things. <laughs> Germany. <laughs> Germany's a really, really nice place. <laughs> he even gives me food. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, is that a head crab? Oh, it's a jellyfish. Jellyfish! That, that jellyfish is a good eater. What's your question? Um, I was a failure at life and didn't have my camera out. Will you sing down with the opera again? <laughs> I wouldn't say you're a failure at life. I mean, you're still alive, right? 